if all is all that you're looking at right now, water touched, there was flood water on this side of the track. There was a four to five feet high. It was over it was over our head. When you get on the south side of the track, which is where we headed toward now to the south, the water was like maybe three to four feet high. So it wasn't quite over your head, but it was water. Now with this oil spill, if a hurricane hits uh, and they have the tsunami similar to what they had with Katrina, oil's gonna be all in these houses. Mm -hmm. and, and we already had a lot of uh, environmental issues uh, with the water that came in from Katrina. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be uh, probably a lot more if that oil comes in here with, with a hurricane this probably, people won't, probably won't be able to move back in here. Mm. You know, it's gonna to be totally devastated with oil. Now this is the south side of the track that I was telling you about. Now water really didn't, it, it didn't get as high over here on this side as it did. This is a new courthouse that they're building here for the Justice Court Judge. Mm. And this, this is Harris County Justice Court that they'll be moving into that new building. And the Harrison County has two seats, county seats. They have, Gulfport has a county seat and Biloxi has a county. They call it the first judicial district, second, and this is the second judicial district county courthouse here. And that was here. Uh, this building over here was our, it was a federal court building. It's, they moved out, they built a new courthouse over in Gulfport. So this building is vacant right now. There's nothing in there. And since the storm hit it, nobody has tried to buy it or fix it up. Okay. This is the downtown area of Biloxi, small town, <laughs> you know, but as it was. But they used to have a street go down through here. This used to be the old People's Bank building to your right. This is the bank now. It's been there for a number of years. This is the old bank, and they built a new building behind it. They still keep a lot of their old old looks that they had back in, in the old days. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our city hall that was once a uh, co uh, post office a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And they, they gave it to the city and they now use that for the city hall. They're, they're remodeling, they're working on it, not renovating it now. Uh, and this was a city hall annex building here. There used to be a library here, the old library, city library was right there, they tore it down after the storm. This building here was a, it was the old library, the old, older library. This was a saving and loan right here. And they used to have a doctor's clinic in this, in this lot that you see right here. But now, uh, Hot Rock Cafe owns this, I believe, and they parked their cars here for their people now. This Hot Rock Cafe that you're looking at had just completed uh, their construction work and was gonna open the day after Katrina hit. And the water came in and totally destroyed the bar that the casino was in. It just flattened it like it was a pancake. The water just fell on top of it. So, and then it washed all of that glass that you see, the blue glass and all that there. All that was washed out. So they had to go back and rebuild that casino. Uh, even before they opened, they were not even able to open it because of the uh, devastation they had from Katrina. Uh, that guitar was about the only, only similar that you knew that was a hard rock. It was still there, but the strings of it was gone uh, from that. They, they had messed up the strings. And of course, the Boulevard, which is the premier casino for uh, Biloxi, uh, had a lot of destruction. It was over a year before it reopened up. This was uh, Mary Mahoney's uh, old French house restaurant over there, the famous restaurant. That used to be a bank there. That building had not reopened. Catholic Diocese, that white building you see over there, they were there. They haven't reopened it. So a lot of that still. That Waffle House is a brand new Waffle House. I don't understand. Ben Jealous is like the Waffle House. So. <laughs> so you may need to show them that when you see that because we do have a Waffle House. <laughs> And we on what they call Highway 90 now. This is uh, East Beach, Biloxi, but it's Highway, old Highway 90. 
It used to get a lot of traffic here. Now I-10 takes the traffic off of here. So people going through don't have to come through all these lights now like they used to along the beach. Mm -hmm. They go on I-10. And uh, as you can see, right here, this is the, the, the beach area over here. This is where that, that, that the oil is threatening to come and destroy the beach out here. Still see the fishing boats, still people. The Mississippi waters are still open right now. They haven't closed them yet, but it's getting close. My understanding the oil should reach the Barrier Islands out here by Wednesday or Thursday of this week, which means they're getting a lot. And the Barrier Islands maybe about 15 miles out, 15, 20 miles out. This is the old lighthouse here, and of course this is the uh, welcome center to their building right there. This is Dr. Gilbert R. Mason Senior Highway, this sign right here. He was the president of the NAACP uh, here in Biloxi. There's only been two, he was the first, and I'm the second. We got this highway because he had a, a wait-in here back in the 60s. They had a wait-in, they called it Bloody Sunday. Black people used to, couldn't go out on that beach. Uh, and so they went out on the beach and the white folks beat him with chains mm -hmm. and, and sticks and took him to jail after that. So this is the area where they, they went out in the beach, so we got them to name this highway right here, Gilbert R. Mason Parkway. So it goes from here down to Rodenburg Avenue. I'll kind of give you a scan. And if you see the beach here, this is what we, what we may lose right now. You know, with this oil coming in here. This is the old water fountain, they just, they just redid that. Uh, this highway was totally destroyed, it was just buckled uh, from the water when it came in. And if you saw, as we passed a while ago, a lot of figurines that had been cut out of trees. Mm -hmm. Those were trees that were actually destroyed and killed by the, by the, uh, the water that came in. And so they had a sculptor that come in and that let him use them and they, then they painted them to, to keep them uh, mm -hmm. from the, uh, deteriorating. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of oak trees down here, you see. This is an apartment complex. It hadn't opened back up since the storm either. These are, this is a new house that they built since the storm. As you can see, they're kind of taking in the flavor of what's on the old houses that are down here. Mm. This is one of the churches that made it through the storm. Mm. Still a lot of vacant property here. Houses, a big house, Annabelle Homes were along here. That's a new house that's just been built. Now this is a uh, Methodist center here. They used to have another building there that got destroyed because of the, and the church was right here that was destroyed uh, from Katrina. And this was a senior citizen complex apartment building right here that the Methodist church, they're trying to sell it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they moved most of those people up north in North Mississippi. There's, there's about 30 miles of this man-made beach. This is a man-made beach. The sand you see out there was was pumped up out of, out, out of the Gulf to make a beach. And uh, they just did, redid this beach uh, right after the storm. Mm -hmm. The grass and stuff you see out there, they put that to keep the sand from blowing out on the highway. Uh, that's why you can see the sand dunes. Uh, as you can see the sand is already in the media and when it gets real windy this this highway gets a lot of sand on it mm -hmm. and it's kind of hard to drive so that's why they do it. Now we're moving, this is kind of like into West Biloxi. Uh, this is the newer part of Biloxi on this side. That's uh, and And over here the storm didn't touch other than the wind damage. Most of this used to be a hotel right here. They just tore it on down after the, the wind because it cost so much now for flood insurance. Mm -hmm. A lot of these hotels didn't rebuild. Like that hotel that used to be right here to the beach. They, they moved it back up mm -hmm. because of the water. There was a service station here that, that's gone. There was a souvenir shop right there that's gone. This is a new uh, condominium building they just built after the storm. They're trying, that's what 
they start to decide we're going to put a lot more condominiums back down here rather than put uh, the Waffle House is a new, that's a new building that's been rebuilt. This used to be a lot of restaurants and clubs and stuff were all down here. You know, a lot of goofy golf was out here. A lot of stuff for kids to play on. Uh, and a lot of that's gone because they just can't afford to put pay the insurance amount to get back out here. 